half man, half woman. It's Gary. I wanna hip you to the teeth. It's Gary, baby. All right, y'all, Rick's the Model Morning Show. Six minutes after the hour, y'all. The same as being bought to you by Ford. That's right, y'all. Ford built Ford proud. Yes, sir, I'm a customer, and I love my Ford F-150. You got dirt right. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Brandy's former hairstylist, y'all, they're saying, baby, he didn't shut it down. He's shutting down, y'all, these longtime rumors, y'all, that Brandy wore a wig, y'all, back in the 90s. Now, Chuck Amos shared, you know, throwback photos of Brandy, including a picture, y'all, when she was on the set of The Boy Is Mine featuring Monica. Now, he said, quote, I did Brandy's hair for her first two albums, honey, back in 1994 to 1999. He said, there on the set, he said, for the Boys Mind video shot in L.A., he also went on to say that the call time was so early in the morning, Brandy got her um hair, got her makeup done while lying down there. But he said, then she got her um hair her um hair done. He said, the Boys Mind cover shoot, he said, shot it um at the 31st Street Studio in New York City or whatever. He said, but now people are going around talking about that. She had a wig on. He said, that is a lie, he said, and a false rumor. He said, he was there firsthand doing Who her hair. Who cares if she Unquote. had a wig on? Right. Huh? Yeah, so what if she did? Right, Eva. Right. Yeah. She's yeah. an entertainer. They all do that stuff. I got a wig on right now. <laughs> Who cares? Really? <laughs> problems. Yeah, but you know, y'all know, people... know that's a wig, Eva. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. The point is, we all, you know, like, you can flip a wig on and off. Women, we wear them all it's the time. And some of the men wear them, too. Female entertainer. Well, it's but not what a big deal, but you about what like that. What difference does it make? Right. Yeah. What you difference does it make? I don't know, but you know, you know, and you know how women are about their hair. So, oh, girl, you wearing a weave, honey? That's a weave. I'm like, if it looks good on it, it shouldn't matter. But that's just right. the way it is. That's what women do, honey. You know, they criticize and go out to one one another, honey. If you wearing a weave or if you wearing your hair and stuff, and you know, something about African American men that they like women with their quote unquote natural hair, so you can run your hand through it. You say you don't want to touch no tracks and all White that. White girls wear more weaves than black girls. No, they created it, but black that. men don't realize that. Black men think because they naturally got long hair, that's their hair. But that's what they done, man. But they like you. They wear more weaves than clip they more. They weigh way more weaves than us because they are thin. Yeah, they can get off, get up off of Brandy for real. Yeah, so, okay. so I'm glad he corrected that and let the world know that it was Thank definitely you. her hair. So. Shout out to him because, you know, most people like be coming for the artist after they don't work for the artist no more. Very rarely that you hear somebody speak up for the person they used to work for. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... All right, so moving on in other celebrity news, y'all, this is a very touching story, and I think they need to have a class to help these men, honey, and their um, ways and how they feel, and when, especially when you come from rags to riches. But it's being reported that former Seattle Seahawks rookie, Kima, how you say his last name, Rock T. Severin, he issued an apology, y'all, to social media that he was dropped from the team, y'all, because he was caught sneaking a woman into his hotel room. Now, they're saying, y'all, that the rookie cornerback tried to slip the woman in wearing Seahawks gear to disguise her as a player, so, which some people say it might have really been a man. But nevertheless, they're saying oh, that God. there was a no-no as the players were under strict isolation guidelines to prevent coronavirus. And they're saying that the United States currently leads the world in number of cases as well as deaths. So they're saying after taking the time to reflect and consider, he said, the seriousness of my action. He said, I have tried to find the appropriate words to apologize to all of those, honey, affected by my poor decision and immaturity. Now, he wrote this apology out, and, you know, and two days after, he was cut from the team. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Oh. He, he dressed up in a bunch of sweats and some Seattle Seahawks gear, but she just had a little bit too much twitch walking up that highway. <laughs> that hallway. Uh, <laughs> isn't that the stupidest? These guys come from video, Rick. Million, million, uh, million, million dollar contract gone for some five. Gone. Yes. Emma's missed gone. a hell of, hell of a... Uh-huh. I said a WAP is undefeated in the destruction of men's lives. <laughs> Here's something. Uh, Undefeated. <laughs> Jesus. Man. Uh, from rags to riches, and you just lose it all. I mean, if I were his his mama, I would spank him. Even if he was an adult, he would get a spank. <laughs> he would get something. Oh, Lord, we just Maybe he should have put some shoulder pads on or something. <laughs> he should have did something, but he was good and dumb. What is that special case? <laughs> WAP is undefeated in the destruction of men's lives. <laughs> undefeated. Is. It sure is. Yeah, they want the internet and the walk undefeated. You ain't. Lord, honey, we just gotta pray, honey. We just praying all morning. Men in jail, men in prison, men broke. <laughs> NFL dreams gone, mm. families what shattered. What? All because of the walk. Jobs, <laughs> pout, 
political careers ended, law degrees gone to waste. <laughs> Medical degrees gone the waste. It's all gone. All gone. Because of the walk. Because of the walk. Because of the walk. <laughs> worse than heroin, worse than cocaine, worse than crack, worse than methamphetamines. The walk. Man, is taking over churches. Churches Man. have divided. Man, Menace, churches have been destroyed. Ministers have been kicked out of the pulpit. <laughs> oh, Bill Clinton got the WAP got Bill Clinton. You got everybody. You got everybody. Kaluta Day is one of my favorite Kaluta. My Kaluta Day is Golden Straw. On the hand, you say Golden Straw, and on the lunch, you say Beautiful Light Bays. That's your Woo! piece for the day. That's the new pandemic. <laughs> Forget about that COVID. It's the WAP that you need to watch out for. <laughs> you can survive COVID. <laughs> oh, oh, it takes no prisoners. Oh, baby, I can survive oh, the WAP. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We need to bring we need to bring somebody a doctor on it to talk about okay the walk, <laughs> instead of talking about coronavirus. <laughs> yes, let's do it. A lot, a lot of people in the cemetery behind that walk. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh man, walk matters. All right, listen, uh, uh. coming up. Peaceful protests of militant resistance. Hey, listen, uh, is there a right or wrong way to respond to police violence in our communities? Now, you're going to be surprised when, uh, by what the mother of a shooting victim, Jada, Jacob Blake, says about it. Coming up next in What's Trending, Ricky Smiley Morning Show.